In this lesson, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of the Brizzy editor. So when you log into Brizzy, you can create projects, you can create pop-ups, you can create stories, or you can edit one you previously created. We'll take a look at creating projects in a separate video. For now, let's go ahead and edit a project I've already created. We'll click the Edit Project option. That will launch the project, open the page up, and allow us to start working on our website. If we take a look at the left-hand side, you can see we've got a series of different icons. The very first one, which looks like a hamburger menu, if we open that up, that's for our content management system. This is where we can manage our pages, our blog posts, stories, pop-ups and alerts, and more. We'll cover each of these in our own dedicated videos a little later in this course. If we hop over to the menu section, we can also go ahead and create our custom menus for our cloud-based website. Next up, we've got the Add Elements option, and this allows us to add various different elements to our page. We can select this option, and all of the elements we have available are all listed inside here. We can simply drag and drop these anywhere onto our site. Very simple and very easy to work with. Next up, we've got the option for all of our blocks, and this shows us a visual representation of all of the key block parts of the page that we're currently working on. As you can see, each one of these has a thumbnail associated with it that shows us exactly what we have on the page. This means that we can easily rearrange, reorder items simply by dragging and dropping. So for example, we'll grab this option, we'll drag this, and you can see that now updates in real time. If we scroll down our page, you can see there's our moved section, and there's what we've moved it to. Very, very easy to work with. Next, we have all of our global styling options. If we open this up, we can see what current style we're working with. We can change styles inside here and completely change the look and feel of key components of our website, colors, fonts, those kinds of things. And we can edit any of the typography that we have as part of our site. Next on our list is the ability to view our design across various different device types. It's important to check how it looks on devices like mobiles, tablets, and desktop. And we can easily do that by simply selecting the device type we want to preview things on, and then we can go ahead and make any changes we may need to make sure everything looks perfect. Our final option allows us to go ahead, find out more about Brizzy Cloud, open up the support option, check out all the keyboard shortcuts we have available to speed up working with Brizzy Cloud, and finally, we can also exit to our dashboard. Coming over to the right-hand side, we've got a little floating toolbar that opens up more options. If we've got hidden elements on our design page, we can take a look at those. We can undo and redo anything. We can preview our site in a browser, and we can also save a draft. And if we open the little arrow, we can clear our layout, we can save our layout, or we can go ahead and publish our page. When you're ready to make changes to any part of your design, that's incredibly easy. All you need to do is select the element that you want, and this will open up a context toolbar that has a range of different options associated with that specific type of element. If we choose a different element, we'll have a different selection of options. If you click the gear icon, you can see that opens up even more options on the right-hand side. If you want to make changes to an entire section, simply hover over the section, choose the little option that pops out, and inside there you can see, again, we've got a series of options that allow us to customize the section. And again, if we click on the gear icon, we have more options by simply clicking on more settings. And again, that will open up all the additional settings we have available to us. And when you're ready to add a new section, you can simply come down and click on the little plus, and that will open up our browser. In here, we can browse between our layouts, our blocks, our saved blocks, and our global blocks. You can simply choose what you want from the top section. Layouts will give you full access to entire pages and entire sites. Blocks are smaller components, the block elements on a page. Saved is anything that you customized and saved yourself. And global blocks apply to blocks that are associated throughout your entire site. We're making changes will apply globally through everything. If we take a look on the left-hand side, you can see we can switch between various different block kits. We can choose between light and dark styles, and we can also go through and see any of the categorized different elements, blocks, layouts, saved, global, and so on, listed by their various different categories. So free, hero sections, featured. We can switch between light and dark. So there's lots of great options inside here to get you up and running in super quick time.